Hey guys, it's Gina and I'm here to show you my 10 top picks for ball nail polishes for this year. After will be a giveaway. Yeah, so let's get started. I did try to make this video first very fancy and I just it just didn't work and my computer's too old, so I'm just going to do it this way. Alright, so this is probably the most expensive one that I'm going to have on here. This is, I had it upside down, sorry. This is DS Magic by OPI. And this is a um, duochrome blue and purple. And it has diamond dust in it. So they say. <laughs> so let's see if you can see it. Let me move the light a little bit closer. So maybe you can see the duochrome. There we go. Now you can see it. Now the only thing with this color is that when you actually apply it, it um, it doesn't show as much purple as I would like it. Um, I've talked about this on my blog, so if you want to check a little bit further about this, you can look at, look at that. Um, my link is down below. And um, also, I did kind of find a dupe for this. The closest, I didn't, I'm not going to say it's a total dupe because I didn't buy it. But Simple Colors has a, a color very similar to this. And what is it called? It's called Chow Bella. And it's almost, it looks pretty similar to this. Um, but not as purple in person as the other one. But I'm pretty sure it applies almost the same. So um, if you can get hold of this, which is more expensive than regular OPIs, um, look for that. The next color um, I picked is Fifi by Zoya. Is that upside down again? No. Alright. Fifi by Zoya. Here's this color. It is a grayish, purplish, with gold glitter, but it also has... I can't explain it. There's a little bit of olive green in there too, I want to say. A lot of people have been talking about this one for fall. Um, I like it, but I don't know if I would paint all my nails in it. I've used it as an accent now. Um, yeah, so that's this one. And it's pretty. And I got this on the BOGO sale. Let's go with this one. This one is called, um, this one is, blah, blah, blah. this one is Models Own from, um, I picked this up at Urban Outfitters. And this was on clearance for $4.99. And I was like, why is this on clearance? This is like perfect, um, like perfect color for fall. Like it's a duochrome. It's like gold and green. And it's really pretty. And the name is lovely. I love it. It is called, can you see it? Beetlejuice. There we go. <laughs> and I'm wearing it right now. This is my little accent now right there. Do you see it's like gold and green? I really like this color. So there's that. Urban Outfitter. The second duo chrome that also that I picked, it's also very similar, is called Hard Candy. Uh, it's from Hard Candy. I don't know if you guys know, but Hard Candy used to be a very um high-end brand, especially when I was like into makeup as a teenager. Well, maybe. Yeah, teenager. This was like one of the like, oh my gosh, things to get because it has a, well, I don't have the ring now, but on it, because I think my daughter stole it, but like to get that ring and to get the nail polish was like, oh my gosh, hard candy, you know, and it was just so cute. Anyways, this one is called Beetle, and now you can pick these up at Walmart, and I don't remember how much their nail polishes cost, because I've had this for a while. I'm wearing it on my nails. Don't mind the wear, because I've had it on for quite a few days now. And it is a, what would you say, a burgundy with um, the olive green undertone, I mean duochrome, and then um, shimmer. I don't know if you can be able to see that. It's so hard to see duochromes like in on camera, just period. This is another talked about color for fall, um, simple colors. I was kind of reluctant to show you guys anything simple colors, but I like to show you guys more affordable things, so um, I did want to show you these. Um, just because of the whole um, blogger debacle that they had going on. Um, and if you want to find out about it, you could just put on um, Simple Colors and Bloggers, and you'll find out about it. So, but I decided to go on and show you guys just because I really do like Simple Colors. I have for a while, and I always get a bunch when they're 99 cents, which is a lot lately. Alright, so this color is called Leap 
vlog. I keep wanting to say leap frog. This is a grayish green color. There we go. And it's a very pretty cream opaque color. So this is my most favorite red right now. And yes, it is a red. Okay, this is also by Sinful Colors, and this is in the color Rich in Heart. And I think that that is, there you go. And I think that it is a great name because of the color. I have not worn this yet because I'm barely transitioning my nails into fall. I know it sounds funny, but. So to describe this color, it is a deep, deep red with a little bit of chocolate brown in it and gold shimmer. And it is so pretty, pretty, pretty. I haven't heard anyone talk about this, um, so hopefully you guys can get your hands on it and just look at, look at it in person and you'll just see what I'm saying. I really like this color. Now on to like a burgundy winish color. This is from Zoya. This is a jelly, okay? Jelly nail polish, if you don't know, is like almost like a see-through nail polish, but not. Like it's, <laughs> it's like an op opaque see-through nail polish, if you can understand that. The little thing that Zoya sent with it, um, just so you can kind of see on their little spoon thing. Let me see. Do you see how you can see? my nail through it. Can you see that? Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. See how you can kind of see? I just really like them. They stay on really nicely and this color is really really pretty. It's one of my fall favorites. I really don't going to see too many like brownish colors this fall even though that's like the norm but I'm going to show some to you anyways. Sorry this one needs to be mixed up. Maybe I need a new one. Okay, this one is, um, I showed you this one I think last year at one point because I really love this color. This is Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. This is called Time to Shine. There we go. This is called Time to Shine. And it is a super pretty bron bronzish, 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 brown with, um, with, nice pretty shimmer in it and it has a really good wear and it's super pretty so if you find this pick it up look I even got it on clearance for $1.27 this one from NYC is just a good I would say this is a good transition color into fall because it's not too dark and it's not too light this is called Park Avenue alright this is called Park Avenue don't mind any noise in the background um, this color is a brownish grayish, is a brownish grayish color, yeah, so there we go, there's this color. Last but not least, I'm including a white, yes whites. On the runway, whitish grays were pretty popular and I just like white, whitish grays, period. So I wanted to get my hands on one. Now Zoya described this on their website as a whitish gray and I have not tried it yet, I'm not going to lie to you. But it is a little bit gray undertone. And it has a white shimmer, and this is the and this is in the color. Let's see. And this is in the color Christina. Sorry about that. On to Halloween colors. This is my favorite orange right now. It was so pretty. This is Thimble Colors, and this is in the color Cloud Nine, which is an interesting pick for a name for this, but whatever. Anyways, it is a light orange with shimmer in it and a little bit of yellow like undertone and um, I just really like it. It's a nice nice change of pace um, and a color that you can use all the time. You know it's not a bright orange, it's not a dark orange, it's just really it's a really cute color. One by Urban Outfitters and this is called Bandu. Bandu, Bandu. And it is this pretty purple. It's just a cream opaque purple. You can even do like one coat with this. Now, I would say that this is pretty close to the new Elamasca, the rubberized nails, because it leaves like a matte color. So if you don't put, and it's like thick too, so if you don't put a top coat, it can look pretty similar to a rubberized one. So I'm not going to say it looks exactly like it, but it's going to look pretty similar. So there's that one more Halloween color is this. This is the glow and dark one. Um, I believe this is from... It doesn't say who it's from. 
I don't know, they just had a little thing of glow in the dark ones. And my daughter picked the pink one. And this is actually really pretty on the nail. It's like a real sheer pink with um, iridescent glitters. And that's just really cute. And it glows in the dark um, under black light, of course. I can never do without glitter. I know some people say, oh, there's no glitter in fall. No, there is. Okay. So we're going to do the simple colors. And this is in the color All About You. Now they just came out with a color very similar to this. They just came out with a color very similar to this, but I like this one better. I just wanted to kind of compare the two. This one, All About You, is in their main collection. You can get it anytime. It is a gold color with a little bit of orange glitter in there. And you could just, and it has like two different tones of gold in it too. So that's why I chose this one. And then this is the one that's it's a limited edition. This is for Halloween. This is called Pumpkin Spice. Now you see why I actually like this one better. I do like this one just because it's a little bit different. It has a little bit of reddish orange glitter in it with the gold glitter. I don't know if it will read. There we go. Let's see, there's the difference. So that's why I picked this one up because you'll be able to find it and you'll be able to wear it a little bit more than this color. Last but not least in the glitters is um, Chili by Urban Outfitters again. Um, the Urban Outfitters, they say $5 each but if you get two, they're two for eight. So which is a pretty decent deal. Now this it has a bunch of different colors in it. It has um, a blue fine glitter um, magenta bigger glitter and a little bit of holographic um, silver in there and I don't know if it's reading true to color but this has been my fa favorite thing to wear right now there we go I just love this color this the pedicure ones um, these were on clearance I'm pretty sure they're even cheaper now but this is the snake print one and this is called Snake Rattle and Roll, don't you love that name? The color is purple with a little bit of teal and gray, and I just like this. Will I be using this for my toes? No, probably not. But not least, I promise this is the last thing. This is Sally Hansen. These are the limited edition nail strips, and this is called Batty For You. And you can obviously tell why. It has bats on it, and it's purple, so that's why I picked this one, just because that's just my color thing that I like. Okay, guys, so I hope this wasn't too long and I hope you didn't just skip it over so you can see the giveaway. Um, these were my picks for fall and I hope you enjoyed them. So um, if you want to know more about the giveaways, stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is the last day of giveaways. This is day five. Uh, five days of giveaways and I think this one is like one of my favorites. Um, but unfortunately this is not going to be able to be international because it is all nail polish and it's going to come in this cute little um, bag this came from um, Target this bag you sell at Target is worth eight bucks so pretty good in itself we get um, the Ellie Colors little nail art thingy like that these work pretty well that one's in white I just thought it's kind of universal um, you're going to be getting a julep um, nail file um, two little julep little samples. Getting this nail polish from Confetti. This is in the color Pop the Cork Purple. It is a very good fall, like wintery color. Um, it's purple and shiny. You're also going to be getting the Sinful Colors. This is my one of my favorites for fall also. This is called Rainstorm. It is like a bluish gray. It is really pretty. This is the cream. You're going to be getting this um, Sally Hansen Extreme Nails. Um, Hard as nails. I can never get the name of this right. Um, these are my favorite Sally Hansen nail polishes, and this color is in Rouge Rebel, and it's like I can't even explain this color. It's like a little bit of red and a little bit of orange, and it's a little neon, but not. So it's like a really pretty color. You will be getting a julep fall color, and this is in the color Jody. Very pretty. Hope you can see. It's like a coppery whiny color with shimmer. I'm also beginning this um, Hard as Nails um, color. This is in cherry red, just an just a 
opaque red that everyone can use. I'm going to be getting this hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. It's called Bath Bites. It smells like green apple. I love these ones and just wanted to throw something Halloween-y in there. You're going to be getting this Color F Night Fright by Sally Hansen. It is the deepest, darkest, bluish purple color. Very pretty. And then you'll also be getting the Wet n Wild Bash Dry. I just love all these colors and this one is in Gray's Anatomy. And it is just a duochrome gray color. Also very nice for fall. And then I will be giving you guys these nail stickers. They come like this because I got them in this big gigantor pack that I got from China. So I'm giving you guys some of these. Um, you'll have a black, a white, and two colors. Um, these little nail art bottles, I'll be giving you a couple of them. I have caviar, glitter, flakies, etc. I'll also be getting these impressed nails. Don't mind the little thing. It's kind of cracked. I showed the the haul of this. Um, I got this from I got this from Broadway Nails and it just got messed up in shipping. So this hasn't been used or anything and this is in the color Glisten Up, which I love the name. Um, these don't exactly fit on my nails because they got like wide nails, um, but hopefully they'll fit on you guys. I did try them out. They do, not these ones, but I did try them out and they do work really well. You just stick them on and go and they stay on. From Sally Hansen, it's yellow. It's called Quick Canary. I doubt you'll be able to see that. I just decided to throw in a cute little color in there. Once again, if I could fit anything else in there, I will, I promise. Um, 18 and over or parents' permission. Once again, this one is an international, sorry. This is an international, sorry. Um, for this one, you guys have to follow me on Facebook. I will leave the link down below. All, once again, all you have to, do, have to do is leave a comment down below with your name that you follow me on Facebook. And then on Facebook, leave me a message or a comment on something or a thumbs up or whatever have you. Um, so like like my page there. And, um, oh my gosh, my camera's about to die. Yeah, so, and once again, if you do not have a Facebook, leave a video response to this. Same thing. Shout out to my channel. Shout out to your channel. Um, or in a question to me, has to be a different video, though. One comment per person, one video per person but you can't do both the video response is just in case you don't have a facebook so that's it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed these um giveaways and um don't don't unsubscribe you guys because i do do giveaways um every so often so if you do like giveaways just keep on there with me so i'll be seeing you guys later bye